So back in 2015, FDA leadership recognized that some devices are game changers because of new technology or because they treat patients with life-threatening or irreversibly debilitating conditions. And the early access pathway was created to devote additional attention and FDA resources to these particular devices. So the Congress said, great idea, FDA. We love this pilot program. So they wrote a law formalizing the Breakthrough Device Program and specifying some of its features, such as the designation criteria. So FDA then issued guidance that described how to obtain the designation and how the program was going to be run. Guidance documents are written by FDA leaders, whereas the day-to-day -day execution of the program, the uh, decisions about designation requests, the interactions about breakthrough devices, that's performed by staff. So my role as policy lead for the program, in a nutshell, was closing this gap between leadership and staff to ensure the program was being run in accordance with the rules and the purpose of the program. So the purpose of the Breakthrough Device Program is to expedite patient access to breakthrough medical devices. And this happens in two major ways. First, it focuses FDA's attention on breakthrough devices by raising those submissions to the top of staffs and senior managers to do lists. And it promotes collaboration between FDA and industry.